Hi friends, in this session we will discuss one more problem in section of solids. Here with the solid chosen is square pyramid. Uh, in the previous video we discussed square prism. If you wish to see the problem related to square prism of section of solids, you can check the description uh, box for the link of the same problem. Read this question. A square pyramid of base 30 mm, axis 60 mm long, is in standing on HP with its base edges equally inclined to VP. It is cut by a section plane perpendicular to VP inclined at 30 degree to HP bisecting the axis. Draw the sectional top view and the true shape of the section if the upper portion is removed. Okay. What is the simple position uh, or top view or front view? You can see solid is standing on HP. With this I can say top view is the square standing on HP. So you can see this is the square pyramid and uh, standing on hp if you see from the top i can see this uh, base square base as the square and i have to make sure that base edges has to be equally inclined to vp base edges equally inclined to vp how we can make this you see this this is the square and these two edges this edge as well as this edge is equally inclined to this uh, xy reference line equally inclined to vp what is the inclination of this 45 degree 45 degree on both the sides 45 degree you have to make sure both the edges should have 45 degree with the base side of 30 mm how it is 45 degree uh, if it is actually the inclination between the uh, edges of uh, the square is 90 it has to be 90 if we want to make it as equally inclined it has to be divided into two so that's why it is 45 degree inclination on this both edges are 45 degree inclination afterwards you can convert the another two sides by making 90 degree to this uh, particular edge okay so that is how the base edges equally inclined to vp in the top view now with this we will move on to the solution draw xy and make sure that the base side it is 30 mm is both the sides has to be 45 degree base is 30 mm all the sides are 30 but this two edges has to make 45 degree inclination with respect to vp that's why we can say equally inclined to vp base edges these two base edges are equally inclined to vp now we can give a notation being pyramid this is the base square a b c d and this AD and CD is equally inclined to VP. You can extend uh, being a uh, pyramid, we can see all the slant edges from the top view. Complete the slant edges as OA, OB, OC, and OD. These are the slant edges. Draw by means of a thin line. Being a pyramid, uh, all the slant edges is visible from the top view. One more thing. Uh, section plane is inclined to VP after cutting the section plane in the front view some portion has to be removed that portion also has to be removed in the top view because uh, this is the OA OB OC OD some portion of OA OB OC OD in the front view has to be removed after uh, cutting by a section plane let's see how it happens extend the projectors from all the corners the axis is uh, 60 mm long still our side this OA will be exactly on the center no need to draw the axis make it as a thin line uh, slantage complete uh, the height as 60 complete the front view and mark up uh, notations notations is uh, this is word as ABC is visible but D is invisible so we can mark D as in the bracket remaining is visible ABC is visible this is our simple position which one simple position of the position of the solid with respect to this condition now we can proceed the section plane what is the section plane condition inclined at 30 degree to hp bisecting the axis bisecting means equally divided into two here that is 60 mm is the axis height it has to be cut by 30 mm so you mark 30 mm from the base it is 30 mm bisecting equally divided into two halves 60 divided by 2 it is 30 so you have to mark an inclination of 30 degree line which passes through this point 30 mm 
this is 30 degree inclination line which is exactly passing through this 30 mm point bisecting the axis equally two halves now we can complete the section plane representation of section plane uh, dot and small dash at both the ends by continuous thick lines the upper portion is removed if the upper portion is removed this part has to be removed remaining portion we can convert it into the section plane remaining portion we can convert it into continuous thick lines continuous thick lines so afterwards we have to identify the cutting points of the section plane this is point number one o dash a dash you extend the projector here uh, corresponding uh, slant edge is oa this cutting at meeting at this point make it as one dash and one here it is one dash here this is one okay what about the next uh, slant edge cutting here this is o dash b dash is cutted at this point being this ob is exactly perpendicular to this uh, projector i may not identify what is the distance of ob here this o dash b dash has to be identified for that what we can do is i will explain once again ob is exactly perpendicular to this uh, projector to this projector so even if you extend i may not identify what which point it is cutting okay being perpendicular for that what we can do yet you you can extend a line which is parallel to x y until it touches o dash a dash see i have extended a line until it touches o dash a dash now you can extend a projector from this point from this point you can extend a projector this is o dash a dash landage so you have to extend a projector until it touch OA slantage. Now you can make this point O as center, this cutting point as radius. O as center, this cutting point as radius, not point number one, this point as radius. Draw an arc to cut OB. Draw an arc to cut OB. O as center, this point as radius. What we, how we obtain this uh, projector? You have to draw a line which is parallel to xy until it touches o dash a dash from that point you extend a projector until it cuts oa now o as center this cutting point as radius draw an arc to cut ob this is here it is 2 dash so this is 2 okay whenever a projector is exactly perpendicular this is the procedure you have to transfer that perpendicular agent as parallel to xy Afterwards, you extend a projector, you measure this distance as radius and draw an arc to cut OB slantage. Now, this O dash uh, C dash is cutted at this point. O dash C dash. Okay. And from that uh, point, you can extend a projector until it cuts OC, the corresponding slantage in the top view, and make it as 3 dash. Here it is 3. Finally, O dash D dash. O dash D dash. It, O, likewise o dash b dash it is perpendicular already we extend, may, made it as parallel to xy and now we can use the same distance o as center this cutting point as radius draw an arc to cut od instead of ob so cut od instead of ob so 4 dash is invisible because uh, from here this d is invisible likewise we can say this 4 dash is invisible you can have to extend the projector fix 4 one two three four this is the exact cutting points of the section plane in the top view now what is the next step as like a uh, square prism i have to join this one two three four cutting points of the section plane by thick lines join all these uh, one two three four points okay now we can uh, convert this uh, top view into the uh, which one continuous thick lines you can see here o dash o dash and this is one dash o dash one dash so you can check oa it is the removed portion i have to uh, keep as it is at the thin line what about one to a one dash to a dash this is one dash this is a dash it is the remaining portion that has to be converted into thick line and 2 dash to b dash also visible there is 2 b this is 2 to b 3 dash c dash is also the remaining edge of the solid remaining portion of the solid that has to be converted to 3 c has to be converted to thick line 4 dash d dash is the remaining portion of the solid that has to be converted into thick line so first we can convert all the remaining portions of these 
slant edges into thick lines and also you can verify O3 that where it is O dash 3 dash O dash 3 dash is removed so you can keep as it is as a thin line okay that is the reason behind we, we uh, I clearly told you if you after drawing the section pane you are going to remove the some portion of the slant edges so that's why you have to uh, keep these slant edges as thin line while you are proceeding in the first step itself now we can do a hatching in between this one two three four shape this is the hatching is portion is called apparent shape of section this is not a true shape entail it is the sectional top view now i have to draw a section plane another plane parallel to xy so whenever you are drawing uh, a section pane before the problem starting itself you have to ensure because the section pane is inclined to hp i should have a sufficient pay face face to complete sectional uh, sorry true shape of section this is the sectional top view this uh, hatching portion is called apparent shape of section it is not a true shape whenever the section plane is uh, inclined to the plane of projection the shape obtained is not a true shape such a shape is called apparent shape of section okay with this uh, we will proceed for uh, next which one uh, true shape of section i don't have a sufficient space what i did is i removed the question already we completed all the question part and uh, you can check uh, how to complete the section well top view we know that it is clearly the sectional top view this is sectional top view now you can draw a x1 y1 which is exactly parallel to the section plane even if you measure the inclination of this x1 y1 it also should make 30 degree okay draw a perpendicular projectors from the cutting points of all all cutting points of section plane 1 dash 2 dash and 3 dash three projectors it is exactly 90 degree with this x1 y1 perpendicular projectors now what is the next step i have to transfer the distance of uh, 1 from xy so 1 from xy from xy you measure the distance of 1 where is the 1 dash projector here it is 1 dash projector on this 1 dash projector use this x1 y1 as reference at an arc the same distance from xy the same distance you can use scales simply straight away you can mark that point distance if it is 4 centimeter 4 uh, 40 millimeter you can mark this point here next one is uh, point number 2 from xy as the distance of 2 and transfer the same on this corresponding projector 2 dash this is 2 dash on this projector you can fix 2 1 using this xy as a reference x1 y1 as a reference now 3 from xy you measure the distance of uh, point 3 use this x1 y1 uh, where is 3 dash this is 3 dash corresponding projector from this corresponding projector you can uh, transfer the distance of 3 using x1 y1 as reference similarly we can complete 4 dash 4 dash you can measure the distance of uh, 4 from xy and for, this is the 4 dash projector use x1 y1 as reference identify the 4 1 point now we can join all these 1 1 2 1 3 1 4 1 by means of continuous thick lines and do a hatching for this and always for hatching use thin lines you should have a uniform distance between this thin lines this is the true shape of section this is the true shape of section in this problem compared to the previous case uh, square prism what is the difference whenever in the, while identifying the sectional points if the section and this is section point 2 dash 4 dash is exactly perpendicular so we may not identify this point number 2 and 4 for that what we did you have to make a, that particular 2 dash uh, section cutting point cutting point of section plane has to be parallel to xy now you have to extend it to one of the outermost slantage outermost slantage is either o dash a dash or o dash uh, c dash you have chosen o dash a dash from that point you can extend the projector until touches oa so this is oa 